Welcome again to another video. This time the vocabulary will concentrate on quantifiers. So let's see if you recognize some of them. Okay. Some days are diamonds, some days are stones. Another one. When I get a little money, I buy books. If any is left, I buy food and clothes. Ah, this is a very famous one. Much music. Yes, I guess you know it. Some more. A few good men. Very famous movie. A few. A lot of money. How many numbers can you see in this image? How many? I want to know a number. One, two, three numbers, four, five. All right. These words are called quantifiers because they give you a quantity. Yes? Although they are not necessarily numbers. So you have many, a little, some, a few, any, a lot, a lot of much. Okay, what is the complication? We have to check on the object, the noun that we are going to describe. So, very important concept. Can you count these things? For example, hamburgers. Yes, you can say one, two, three hamburgers. What about sugar? Mm, no, no, you can't say one, two, three sugar. That would be impossible. So that's uncountable. Books. Yes, you can count books. One, two, three books. Sand in the desert. Nope. So what we notice is that some things are countable and some things are uncountable. You just give a quantity. Let's concentrate on this concept a little bit more. Can you count umbrellas? Yes, you can. So that's a countable noun. Pasta? No. Orange? Yes, you can say oranges. In fact, if you can put it in the plural, it's countable. Wine? No. Rice? Again, no. Uncountable. People? Yes, even if it is not in the plural, because it is a plural noun. So, in English, it's very natural to add a quantity. So, you open the fridge because you are preparing your shopping list or your grocery list. And you say, eggs, yes, there are about 10 eggs. And milk, yes, there is some milk. Apples, nope, there aren't any apples. You see, it's natural to give a quantifier. So let's concentrate on the quantifiers. If you want to express a big quantity, the common one is a lot or lots of. They are synonyms. So you can see this is a countable, uh, for countable nouns, you can see a lot of people, or you can see or you have a lot of money. It doesn't matter. You use a lot of for countable and uncountables. You see? Nice. Okay. For questions or negatives, what do you use? Check this out. Countables. He does not have many friends. Many. Meaning a little less than a lot or uncountables. Does he have much time? Again, let's continue. For uncertain quantities, we use some. Some would be something like a joker. This uh, an uncertain quantity. So you see some people and you have some money, not specifying 
a quantity. You use it again with both. For small quantities, we have to make a difference. If you are speaking about something countable, you say a few. So you have many faces or a few faces. A few people. And for uncountable, you have much water or a little water. Don't confuse little with the, the size, yes? It's uh, the same word but with a different meaning. So you drink a little water every two hours. Okay, for nothing. Depending on the sentence, you can use any or no. So, people on the beach, there are no people on the beach. Or, there aren't any people. They are expressing exactly the same idea. Yes, if you want to compare to Spanish, there aren't any people would be more natural or more similar to our no hay gente. Uh, the, the other one would be a little bit more complicated for Spanish speakers. And you use it again for countable and uncountable nouns. So, how do you express this? Hope it doesn't happen to you. <laughs> Possibility one. I have no money. Possibility two. I don't have any money. Both are the same. Although I have no money is more natural in American English specifically. So this is a summary and we have to remember if you want pause the video to check it out. Yes, a lot meaning big quantities, any and no meaning nothing, the others in between. Good luck with your quantifiers. See you next time.